today on The Freezes. Welcome back. Today, we're posted up at the Lake Mead Recreational Area, where we're spending our last days with our first camper, Johnny, our Jayco travel trailer. We've been searching for our next camper for what seemed like forever. On all platforms you could think of online, obsessing over every single detail, every single box that needs checked. Something else we tried was getting into as many different RV models as we could. RV shows are great for that and usually a pretty good time, but we also watched countless YouTube videos trying to narrow it down. I wanted to look at one of these in person. That's what I'm talking about. Solar array on both sides. We're going in this bad boy. Oh my. Honey, look at this command system. No. <laughs> this is my workstation. What's this like in here? Just a single stainless steel wall. Ooh. This island in here. <laughs> this thing it rocks, my man. So how much solar's on this? Wow, okay. After doing all this research, we felt way more confident in what we wanted in our next rig, which led to this moment. Today is a special morning. We're gonna go pick up, hopefully, our new home in Menifee, California. It's 4.30 a.m. It's a five hour drive. We are leaving right now. Uh, we're expected to get there around 9.30 and we're really excited. We're trying to get there so we can view the camper in the daytime, have plenty of time to talk to the owner, and hopefully leave us a little bit of time to get home while the sun's going down to set up out here where we have Johnny. We're looking at this one camper. We're excited to show you what it is and road trip begins right now. Nice. There's the back cover. Five hours down the road and we're here. Let's go take a look at this open range. Let's make sure the truck can pull it. To be honest, it was pretty much love at first sight. After looking over the rig the best we knew how, it was time to close the deal and get back on the road. But on the drive home, the reality started to sink in. We now have two rigs and only one truck. What the f were we thinking? thing first I gotta empty everything out I've already put everything that they left in here in this pantry so all I gotta do is clear this out and then bring my new stuff in anyone that knows me knows I love to organize so I'm jumping for joy we have been busy all day we have another mess going with new items out and we just got told we have to move look at this we're supposed to be behind that gate apparently yep and johnny's a mess so we gotta pack up all of this and get going look at those fine establishments right there we got our very first home on wheels and then our upgrade i think 
we did good both times. Here are the camper's floor plans side by side. As you can see, the open range's floor plan offers twice as many potential work areas, a bigger kitchen, and a larger living area. And by eliminating the bunkhouse and adding the opposing slide in the living area, we were able to really open things up and bring more comfort to our day to day. Brian and I are having a little bit of a chore day. Right now we have two different rigs. Um, we're not currently living in this one yet. We're getting prepped too. Um, Brian has an appointment to get it dropped off tomorrow. We are gonna get solar and inverter and batteries installed. And until then we'll be staying in Johnny, um, but we do hang out in here quite a bit. <laughs> This is now light enough that my other champion that I can definitely maneuver this in and out of the back of the truck. It's 116 pounds. This one, I believe, is uh, 70. Oh, honey bear, where are we going? Where are we going? We are going to Discount Tire. I guess formerly Discount Tire. I guess they're changing their name to D America's uh, Tire. Uh, we're getting some new tires put on the truck. We have a nail in the right driver's side rear. But then, as I was just looking at the tires in general, we have um, about a two inch gash in the sidewall on this tire up here that's actually pretty deep. Deep enough to where I'm not comfortable with it. So we knew this day was coming. Let's get a new shoes put on. The last ones were a little rough. The look of a happy man after new shoes. Solar is a big business right now with a lot of competition, so make sure you do your research before committing on a company or a price. The only equipment I knew I wanted for sure for the brain of the whole system was Victron. I shopped the panels and batteries quite a bit actually and finally landed on rich solar equipment for that. It's not the cheapest brand nor the most expensive, it's just right in between. Solar upgrade, we gotta get some measurements. Now that I have my blank canvas, I can really start to take some measurements and game plan where the panels and the batteries and the inverter could potentially be installed. And since this is a bigger project that I wanna take on, I've been calling around to installers in the Vegas area. As you can expect, there's a lot to choose from. Ultimately, I felt most comfortable with Tom at Apache RV Customs and the game plan we put together for my unit. And they're off to go get fitted. Time to get some solar, an inverter, and batteries. It's gonna be a boondocking off-road machine. We can't wait. The Apache RV in Vegas isn't too far, so they got our business. Very trustworthy and honest so far, and Brian's very excited to work with them. It's a busy morning. I have an appointment scheduled this morning to Apache Customs in Las Vegas. As you can see, I got our new rig, uh, the open range behind us. This rig, we are gonna get professionally outfitted uh, just because we love this life so much. We think that having a little bit more peace of mind with the professional install, I've already got a, a price in mind in my head that I think that we can spend on this 
and we're going through with it. So uh, right now we're two rigs, one truck, and we're making it work out here. We were hard looking for RVs, guys, but this kind of just worked out. So now we're in a scramble to get this rig outfitted, get Johnny detailed um, and put up into storage for sale. Uh, and then we gotta figure out where do we wanna sell Johnny? What market? Because we move a lot. So that means we're not gonna be able to move as much as we like and what we're used to. That means we gotta stick around that area. Wherever we choose to have Johnny for sale and store, that's where we're gonna have to stick around. Uh, we hate being landlocked like that, but you know, it's business time. So if that means we gotta put the travels on halt to get this work done, we definitely do it. Just like right now, I would love to be jumping into our next movie. Um, it's, it's just killing me that I can't work on it because we have all this stuff going on. We just dropped Blake off uh, a couple days ago in Las Vegas, so he's been with us all week which ergo I don't get any work done. Uh, Dare was able to take a lot of time off too and we just had a ball with Blake. Right after he left, this trailer fell in our lap, so we're back to business time. Customs. He's up top getting some measurements right now. We just got done discussing some of the solar and some of the battery options. We're gonna go inside and see what the price is and everything's looking really good. So we're gonna see how it ends up, but this experience so far has been A+. Plus. Two 12 volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, one Victron solar charger 15070, and one 3000 watt Victron inverter with a 120 amp charger. I guess now the only thing left to do is to test it out. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel now and we'll see you next time.